Welcome back everyone, and in this video I have a lav mic extravaganza cheapness showdown. Who will win? So what I have here in front of me, I have over here outside of the box is my A-Lav. This A-Lav Easy mic is the lav mic that I've been using for quite a while. I got this off Amazon. I don't believe they make this anymore, but this one is about $20 and it works great. I've been using it in all my videos. The one I used before was a really cheap, like $5 Chinese one. Really bad sound quality, I didn't like it. I did make a video on that one, but this one was better quality, so I have been using this one. And recently, I was sent these two. These are by Pop Voice. This one is for smartphones. No battery required, it plugs into your smartphone. Your smartphone has a built-in amplifier. And this one is their Professional. And basically, it has this big, chunky looking thing attached to it. Really long cord on this one. But you can put a battery inside here so it amplifies it when you connect it to a camera. So I have my camera here. It's a DSLR camera. And I'm gonna plug this one into it. I'm basically what I'm going to do for this video is I have my shotgun mic right now. It's probably super echoey as you can hear because I'm not using any sort of lav mic like I usually do. I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to test the lav mic here. I'm going to test this one, which is very simple, goes right into your smartphone. And then I'm going to test their professional one. This one, I'm going to put it into my smartphone and test it. And then I'm going to put it into the camera and see if it works. I, I don't know if it will, but I'll put it into the camera without a battery and see if it works and then put the battery in with the smartphone and then again with the camera. And then I'm gonna put those all together. I'll put them side by side, no bias. I'm not promoting these guys in any way. I am just creating a video to see how well these all sound together. Maybe one's better than the other, I, I don't know. but. If these are awesome, if they're terrible, then you can check these out on Amazon. Like all my videos, I link it the stuff I use down below so you guys can check these out. If they do turn out to be awesome, if they turn out to be crap, then avoid them. Let's get into it. So I just opened up the smartphone pop voice over here, the PV510. I just opened up this one and it has an adapter in here. And this adapter makes it so you can pop in, which is usually a smartphone, it's the one with three rings, this auxiliary. You can plug it into here, and this has the two, which means I can plug it into my DSLR. So, might as well throw that in too. All right guys, so this is the A-Lav EZ. Now, this one is the one that I have been using for all my videos, so this is probably the sound quality you're used to. This is about a foot away from my mouth, if I stretch it all the way out here, this is a test arm's length away. And if it's right next to your mouth on your lapel or where it usually set, this is about how it sounds. So this is a test of the A-Lav EZ. Okay guys, this is the Pop Voice PV510. This one is meant for the smartphone, but like I said, you can also plug in the adapter, which I'll do that in the next video. So this is about a foot from my mouth. And then all the way out here, this is going to be at arm's length away. And this is going to be at lapel height where you're usually gonna be speaking into it. Okay, so now it's the same one, but now it is plugged in directly to my DSLR. This is a foot away. And for this test, I do wanna mention that this cord is about six feet long. So if you are using this for anything, it's probably not recommended that you do anything with a distance on this one because it is pretty short. This test is an arm's length away. This is how it's gonna be sounding at an arm's length. And this is going to be at lapel height where it usually is located for any sort of voice recording superstitious monkey farts. Okay, so now I have the professional lavalier mic all set up and beautiful. This is about a foot away from my face. And down here I have the option set to uh, off slash smartphone. That just means the battery powered. So this is gonna be a foot away. I'm recording on my smartphone. This is gonna be an arm's length away from me. And now this is going to be at lapel height. 
Now this is without any sort of battery, which is how it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to plug in the battery and see if it sounds any different. Now I've put the battery into the little capsule right here. This is about a foot away like it has before. Now I don't know if there's any sound difference with the battery in compared to it not, but it's still in the same place. This is in the off slash smartphone mode, but now I have the battery installed into it. This is an arm's length away, and this is how it sounds. And this is going to be at lapel height where you're usually going to be recording. Now this is without a battery, or this is with a battery, rather. Okay guys, so this is actually in the future. I've been messing around this with a little bit, but I have it switched to camera mode, plugged into my phone, because I wanted to try it both ways. I wanted to try it off, and you just listen to off, and then I wanted to switch it to camera, but I wasn't getting any audio. So what I did is I attached the adapter, which is only from the other one, the professional one doesn't include the adapter, and now it works. Now I actually have audio, I can see the bars. So for some reason, this is the only way it works with camera mode. So yeah, this is how it works. If you want a difference with the battery in, arm's length away, this is what it sounds like. And over here at lapel height, this is what it sounds like with a battery in, with it turned to camera. But for some reason, you need to have a different adapter, the two ring one. Okay guys, now this is with the professional plugged in to the camera. I doubt you guys can hear me because there's, I don't know, there's, there's just no power going to it. This is still in the off selection. This is going to be at an arm's length away. This is what it sounds like. And this is going to be at lapel height. Now this is with the battery and with it turned off. Okay, this has been um, kind of a crapshoot going back and forth trying to figure out what works. This is like take four. Um, if it works, I'll put it in. If not, then I'll just put some subtitles. But anyway, I've been trying to get this to work and if it is working now, then awesome. I have it plugged into my DSLR right now without the adapter. I just have it regular um, little aux cable plugged in, which is supposed to go into your smartphone and it's not supposed to work in the DSLR. And I have a battery in and it's switched over to camera mode. So if it works, it works. I, I am really confused on why this works or it doesn't work and compared to the other ones, I'm super confused, but I have to try every option. So this is what it's gonna sound like at an arm's length away. And this is what it's gonna sound like down at lapel height doing something at lapel height. All right guys, so this is the ALAV EZ. Okay guys, this is the Pop Voice PV510. Okay, so now it's the same one, but now it is plugged in directly to my DSLR. Okay, so now I have the professional lavalier mic all set up and beautiful. Now I've put the battery into the little capsule right here. Okay guys, so this is actually in the future. Okay guys, now this is with the professional plugged in. I have it plugged into my DSLR right now without the adapter. All right guys, that is all three of the cheap lavalier mics that I have for you. Like I said, if you wanna look at them on Amazon, I'll link them down below. I don't know if you guys could hear me on any of those. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm doing this real time, so I'm not sure. But like I said on that last one, this adapter right here only comes with the PV510, the smartphone one, and for some reason doesn't come with the professional one. Now the professional one is supposed to be used with a camera, like the DSLR I'm using, but it doesn't come with this adapter, and it comes with the regular one that is a normal auxiliary with the three rings, and instead on mine needs the two ring that comes with the smartphone one. So, I don't know how it sounds. If you guys would like to chime in, comment down below and let me know which one sounds best to your ears. I'll see you guys next time.
time in another review video, car video, or random video. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you can get some behind the scenes stuff that hasn't happened yet and unreleased content that no one else has seen. And if you haven't already, watch that video. And if you watch that video, watch that video. And if you've watched both of those videos already, make sure you subscribe down here. Yeah, watch this stuff. It's awesome. And if you've watched that and that and subscribed,